God's not dead. Hey, he's alive. God's not dead. Oh, he's alive. God's not dead. Hey, he's alive. I feel him all over me. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. I feel him on my head. I feel him all over me. I feel him in my head. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. I feel him all over me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today we are on the third episode on Advocates. And the third episode is on the word of testimony. Wow, the word is powerful. And the word becomes the sign as to tell us that God is alive and Jesus is alive and is already victorious because he has conquered the death and he has given us the victory to live forevermore. John chapter 15 verses 26 to 27. Before we read that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for making us king of glory, witnesses of the gospel, and even giving us an opportunity to testify of the great things that you have done in our lives. You have forgiven us of your sin, of our sins. You have made us well to know that you are born in our lives and we are new creation. And we thank you because in this new creation, my Lord, we are forever forgiven, knowing that we'll live with you in eternity. We thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. John 15, 26 to 27 from New English Translation. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me and you also you will testify because you have been with me from the beginning. Praise the Lord. You see, Jesus, when he left, when he, when, when he was... Um, when he, he he was about to go back to the father he to, he, he poured his spirit upon uh, upon the the disciples but he also wanted them to know that the, there is going to be an an outpouring of the holy spirit so that he can cause them to so that he can send them because jesus himself was sent by the father and now he is sending them to become witnesses to go and testify but they needed the power yes they had seen him they had witnessed the resurrection they had already seen jesus christ risen and walking through closed doors and they had already believed that he's lord and he has risen again so they needed the power to enable them to go out and testify and give let people know so you also need the advocate who is our Lord, uh, who is the Holy Spirit to come into your life if you are born again. Be filled with that power so that you can be encouraged to stand with boldness and testify and let people know that Jesus is Lord. And when you are testifying of what he has done in your life because there are things he has done in your life and no man can do them. No one can buy. It doesn't matter how rich they are. They cannot buy that which you have in your life. So when you are testifying, you need the power even to be able to reveal and remind you of the great things that God has done in your life. Testify. Uh-huh. And be and know that the King of Kings, he lives and he lives forever. In John chapter 2, verses 11, Jesus did this as the first of his miracles, signs, in Cana of Galilee. In this way, he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Praise the Lord. So John, we, we see this was actually a miracle in Cana, his first miracle in Cana of Galilee, where he turned water into wine. And because of that miracle, that first miracle, the disciples were able to believe in him and why did he perform that miracle it was for the glory of the lord now the problem we are having today people want them to show off the miracles they are performing and as they want to show off about these miracles they are performing it becomes difficult because 
They are not pointing people unto Christ. They want to show people that they are the ones who have the power to perform those miracles. The signs, miracles, and wonders, they are to point people unto Christ. Non-believers, they will believe in Jesus Christ and give their lives to Jesus. Those ones who have given up in life, they will be strengthened because of the miracles that take place and they will move on to see God doing performing miracles more one after the other. Those ones who are getting healed, they will give testimonies of the Savior because the doctors have tried and they have failed. Yes, the doctors have tried all they can, but they have come to their end. But now Jesus Christ comes when man is unable to do it. And he gives us those wonderful miracles, signs and wonders so that we can point people to him, not to ourselves, not to our ministries, but to Jesus. If the miracles you are performing are not pointing people to Jesus, if you are, they are just being directed to your church or just being directed to you, then those are your miracles. You are not doing the work that God sent you to do. You are not allowing the advocate to do his work. And then in John chapter 2 verses 13 to 23, this is uh, from Passion Translation. When the time was close for the Jewish Passover to begin, Jesus walked to Jerusalem. As he went into the temple courtyard, he noticed it was filled with merchants selling oxen, lambs, and doves for exorbitant prices, while others were overcharging as they exchanged currency behind their counters. So Jesus found some cords and made them into a whip. Then he drove out every one of them and their animals from the courtyard of the temple and he kicked over their tables, kill, filled with money, scattered it everywhere. And he told the merchants, get these things out of here. Don't you dare commercialize my father's house. That's when his disciples remembered the scripture. I am consumed with a fiery passion to keep your house pure. Oh, then the Jewish religious leaders challenged Jesus. What authority do you have to do this sort of thing? And what supernatural sign will you show us to prove it? Jesus answered, destroy this temple and I will raise it up again in three days. 21. But they failed to understand that Jesus was speaking of the temple of his body. The disciples remembered his prophecy after Jesus rose from the dead and believed both the scripture and what Jesus had said. Verse 23. While Jesus was at the Passover feast, the number of his followers began to grow and many gave their allegiance to him because of all their miraculous signs they had seen him do. Praise the Lord. Now, in this situation, yes, we can see that he, he, Jesus went into the temple and uh, this is what was happening. It was required of people to go to the temple, especially men who are 20 and above, to go every year to go and uh, give their sacrifices at the temple. And uh, th what happened, the priests that time, they actually realized, you know, because people... Um, the currency that was there was the Roman, the Roman currency, and the Roman currency had the the the, the, the portrait of of Caesar on it, and that is why it could not be allowed to be. They could not take the currency that had a portrait of uh, of uh, of the heathens into the temple. Oh my goodness! Do you hear that? So what happened? And sometimes you don't care what you are taking to the temple. You don't care. But I'm here to let you know that they cared so much that they could not take that currency of the Roman uh, leader, uh, that uh, the portrait of the Roman leader, an image of the Roman leader into their temple. So, they, the, that, so what they would do is the priest would actually get, gather and get get the get the shekels and they will exchange at a very high rate exorbitant price they will exchange it and it was not they were overcharging people as they were exchanging the currency and so is that they also brought the oxen they brought the animals into the temple to sell to people so that people can have sacrifices because people some people traveled from far 
but now people they were making a lot of money out of it so they turned this one into a commercial place instead of a place of worship and that is why jesus was angry and he told them that uh, do not dare don't you dare commercialize my father's house uh-huh so that is what that is what he did but you know what the the jewish they wanted a sign as to prove to why he's doing that and um the 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 super they wanted the supernatural sign to show them that he has authority to do what he was doing and now he told them he told them that you destroy this temple and i'll raise it up again in three days but the disciples remembered the scriptures the word is gonna testify the word is going to be the testimony it's gonna testify to us so that we believe when we see the fulfillment of that word, when we see the fulfillment of the prophecy of the word of God, because the prophecy is supposed to be the word of God, and we should see the fulfillment. So the disciples were able to connect the prophecy and what was happening now. That is why you need to know the word so that when you see the fulfillment of what God is doing, you will be able to glorify him and even believe him even the more and even desire to honor him with your life. Then you are told that uh, while Jesus was at the Passover feast, the number of his followers began to grow and many gave their allegiance to him because of all the miraculous signs they had seen him do. When the miracles take place in our midst, I am here to let you know that is why we need to make sure we have an environment that is conducive for, for miracles. So that the miracles that they take place, people, they'll be increased because Christ, we are going to have more followers of Christ. People following Christ, not just following the church, but following Christ and having him as Lord and Savior, may, um, giving their allegiance to him and him alone. Glory to Jesus. And then uh, I just want to thank God for each one of you as you continue to testify. And in John 1935, and the person who saw it has testified and his testimony is true and he knows that he's telling the truth so that they also may believe so when you testify of what god has done into our lives then you know what people will be able to see yes for sure what they are telling us is true their work their lifestyle it has changed the way they live it's not the way they were before things have changed and therefore let people see that change and as you testify both with your mouth because you have to use your mouth to testify and even as they see what is happening in your life they will glorify our God they will believe they will come to the Lord Jesus and he becomes their Lord and Savior and then John 21 25 to 25 21 to 24 to 25 this is the disciple who testifies about these things and has written these things and we know that his testimony is true there are many other things that jesus did if every one of them were written down i suppose the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written yes let's write down what god has done every miracle that takes place in our life let's not take it for granted every sign and wonder in our life every supernatural thing that has taken place in our life because of christ let it be noted let it be written let that word have uh, be read by somebody who will need it to be strengthened and to have life in abundance. We thank God for what he's doing in our lives. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. This is Mother to the Amazing Champions and Mother to the CMCs around the globe. Please visit our website at www.agracem.org and partner with us. At the same time, please visit our Facebook and YouTube at Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki. That is YouTube and Karuki Bishop Dr. Grace. That is Facebook. And please like, subscribe, and at the same time, comment and also share. God bless you for now. Shalom, shalom.